All right, Monday, January 9th. As you see, an alien visits Earth and has a report back about life here. What would the report include? Great topic of discussion. Uh, as we move through, uh, another reminder of number 14. I will spend some time studying Quizlet, introduce you to the Bacteria 321 concepts uh, document you're going to fill out through this unit. And we'll watch Brain Pop video and then uh, get back to Typhoid Mary and make sure we see that Typhoid Mary video. Uh, by the way, when we talk about that entry question about the alien, uh, you'd probably include the most common form of life on the planet, and that is bacteria. That's our Monday. All right, Tuesday, January 12th, or 10th, sorry about that. Uh, is Typhoid Mary a criminal? Uh, spend our time going in depth about Typhoid Mary. It happens to be a two hour late start day today, so we have just enough time to put Typhoid Mary on trial and talk about all the varying uh, instances and, and things that go on in the video that might lead to some clues about uh, Typhoid Mary and her mental state and her motivations and whether or not she was aware of what was going on. All right, January 11th, uh, opening up Skyward, checking our grades. It is a reminder that the semester's coming up at the end of uh, January 27th. Uh, we're going to leave it open because we're going to go over your grade check stuff in detail, making sure you know how to deal with forgotten passwords, you know how to check individual class grades, look for missing assignments, all those things so there's no excuses. Uh, and then we're going to get into some CK12 research on bacteria. There are seven topics. And here's what's going to happen. Uh, those seven resources to cover, you can put yourselves in groups. Uh, we need to make sure we can complete the 321 document on number 16, and we have today to work. And the decision from all the classes was let's work in groups, let's each take topics, let's popcorn this out when we're done, and we can get this thing filled in and get all the evidence we need. So that's what we did. All right, pick up on Thursday the 12th, uh, preparing to share what we found yesterday. The ultimate goal is to get everybody caught up and on the same page and get their CK12 or their 321 number 16 filled in. So we'll give you a little more time to finish up your research, uh, sharing out with each other uh, your, your documents. Uh, created a form you'll find on Classroom that you can paste your uh, shareable link of your document into the form with your topic, and that way everybody else can access it. I'm going to show you stromatolites, uh, ancient uh, kind of cyanobacteria. Uh, mounds, if you want to call them, uh, might provide good uh, image evidence on some of those questions. Uh, we're going to take you through uh, bacteria reproduction. If bacteria can reproduce as quickly as every 20 minutes, uh, how many can we make in a day? Uh, and then we're going to prep some yogurt, uh, warm water bath, talk about that reproductive rate, and prepare for viewing them under microscopes tomorrow. And then if we get a chance, we'll get to the TED Ed microbes. Uh, ASAP silent farts video and ASAP you have a second brain. All right, reminder on Friday the 13th, dun dun dun, to add anything you've got left to your th number 16321 document. Uh, we have all the links to share out in that form results. Uh, first thing we're going to do is get a slide prepped and dried yogurt smear. Uh, and then as it dries, we'll watch uh, some videos, three videos there. It takes about 15 minutes. And then your slide will be ready to stain with methylene blue. And then you will get the remainder of the period to look for, uh, using the microscope, search for uh, yogurt uh, bacteria. Uh, pop over and check the, the tank and see how things are growing. And then also access the Cells Alive website. And you can look at bacteria cells and compare them to animal and plant cells or eukaryotic cells that we looked at in the past. And that is our week.